What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing Christmas jammies. Where's the Christmas? Where's the Christmas? Oh, on the nice list. I'm gonna show you guys what I eat today. I'm also gonna show you just a random day in my life. Today is a Monday, and there have been some life changes that I have not really talked about on YouTube at all. You guys know I've not really been super duper duper active on YouTube, and it's something that I'm really wanting to change. I've been saying that probably my last five videos. I'm turning on my camera today. For the last few years though, I've worked Wednesday through Sunday. But I've been an online personal trainer for the last five, six years, and I've been working from home for myself. And I always worked Wednesday through Sunday because that was my husband's work schedule. He worked Wednesday through Sunday as a minister at our church. And so I just always mirrored his schedule. We always had Mondays and Tuesdays off. However, that has changed because my husband is no longer serving as a minister at our old church. Another life update, we don't go to that church anymore. We go to a different church. It's not a bad thing. Nothing bad happened, like everyone's good. There's no drama. We just needed to go to a different church. It's been a really good move for us. I announced that on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that. He has come home to work a little bit in my business, but he's also working on developing his own thing right now. He's not trying to be like a fitness coach or anything, so we'll see where that goes. I'm really excited for him. Crazy. Crazy life updates. Uh, now we work Sunday through Thursday. It's Monday and it's a work day. <laughs> Sundays are a really big day about balance and thrive in my business and I do a lot of coaching calls those days because that's when people are free to talk. I actually worked like 10 hours yesterday like, and it was mostly live coaching calls, which really, really drains me. So I'm kind of taking like a half day off today. I probably won't start work until like three or four. So for right now, I'm just chilling. Matt is in our bedroom, probably doing some God time. What is life? What is life? My husband like now works for me at home in my business and is building his own. I'm really grateful that my business, my online coaching business, which I love doing what I do. Like I, I don't know how much I talk about it on here, but on Instagram, I'm, I'm always talking about how much I love coaching my clients and doing what I do. It literally is a dream job for me. And so for it to be doing so well that I can afford to bring my husband home to work for me and to build his own dream. What is life? I'm really grateful. Um, God's been really, really, really good for us and really showing up for us in this transitional, strange, new time of life. Oh, another life update. I now have, this is not a life update. I'm just joking, but here's my coffee. I now take coffee with just like normal cream and um, sugar, like real sugar. Like what? Lynette from 2016 is like, what is your life? Go for the zero calorie option, girl. But ever since I went to Italy last fall, I've really taken a liking to having real sugar in my coffee. I still wasn't doing it very much because I like wanted to save the calories, but then I went to Mexico a couple weeks ago, as you guys might know, and I had coffee with sugar the whole time and I was just like, yo. This is so much better. Okay, so five minute life update with Lynette, yay. I think that's part of what has made YouTube hard lately too, is like having so much going on and then like not updating you guys. So like, I don't know, here I am trying to like recommit to YouTube because YouTube is one of my favorite platforms to just like be present and like hang out with you guys and you guys are my favorite and yeah. So no more mushiness, um, I've been, Spending my morning just doing some God time and reading. It is a whopping like 37 degrees, which if you live in the Midwest, it's like, wow, summertime. Oh, wait, wait. Ooh, it went up to 39 degrees. I am gonna go for a run, which is my favorite. I love, I love going for runs. And I don't get to do it very often in the winter time because it's just too cold. And I find that every time I run, when it's less than 30 degrees, I seem to always catch a cold. Immune system of the year. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a run and get this day started. Uh, Matt and I probably need to grocery shop. Not probably, definitely. Yeah, I'll show you guys what I eat today. Uh, super excited for this video, yay! <laughs> Do you have your little, your little friends here with you? It's my little clan. Hi, little clan. Other little kitten. Hello. Okay, getting ready to go for my run, and I just thought I would show you my running outfit since I won't be able to film my run, obviously. So, for bottoms, we are wearing my favorite pants to run in, which are Lululemon's All the Right Places legging. I love it because it has the Luxe Stream fabric, which is my favorite from Lululemon. It has little pockets, so I can put like my keys or my phone um, in these little pockets. And then, what I like about this is that this part is seamless, so I don't feel like the waistband is cutting into my stomach, but the rest of this 
has um, a seam here at the top, right? It's not seamless. Also, this is just from my laundry machine. It like leaves lint all over my clothes, but I like this top seam when I'm running and only when I'm running because it helps like the leggings stay up on my waist. So I'm not pulling them up as I run. So bottoms and for my top, I'm wearing this top from an Amazon brand called CRZ Yoga. It, this top is kind of similar to like the Lululemon Run Swiftly Tech or whatever. Um, it's similar to that, but it's actually like looser fitting. It's not supposed to be tight, which I kind of like for running, especially. I just don't like stuff clinging to me when I'm running. And I have this sports bra. It's an older one, a few years old by a brand called My Protein. I actually haven't checked them out in a little bit. I should see what they're selling because they would have some really cute, um, affordable stuff from time to time. So that's the fit and a fit. Am I cool? <laughs> Never. All right, so about to go for my run. I think I'm gonna do four miles. I am not the world's best runner. <laughs> Three miles is typically my go-to of like, oh, this, this is pretty good. It'll take me like 40 minutes. Four miles is what I do to challenge myself and five miles is what I do to like die. Running is just hard for me. Even though I've been running since 2013, running is just one of those things that's really hard for me, but I'm doing it because it's like nice-ish out. It always makes me feel really, really good. It like lets me just clear my head and feel really good. The church we go to now, it's called Brightmore Christian Church. It's in Novi, Michigan. We are obsessed with this place. Brightmore has an app that allows you to listen to the sermons. So I'm gonna do that. I love listening to like sermons or podcasts while I'm running. It just helps keep my brain engaged and feel really good. So I'm gonna do that, go for this run, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. We're probably gonna go grocery shopping. Do you think we're gonna go grocery shopping, babe? We have to. Where, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, uh, go grocery shopping and what are we having for breakfast? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hold up. You want you want me to film this for you too? Your two kittens. One, two, one, two. Quality YouTube content. That's what the internet signed up for. From my run and we are definitely having like poverty house ingredients breakfast we have to go grocery shopping so badly <laughs> we have like no fruit basically no vegetables in this house so this is breakfast <laughs> breakfast tacos why not they're delicious protein carbs fat we got everything we need they taste amazing um but i'm looking forward to getting a vegetable in my body today multiple vegetables would be great I also made some for Matt with hot salsa on them. Thank you. My wife of the year. Of the universe. Aw, thanks. Am I recording? It's so bright. It's bright? It's bright. We're going grocery shopping. It's right. too tall. Going grocery shopping at Kroger. Samples. <laughs> Free samples. Woo. Somehow this says punchki. Fajita stuff. Green things. Black fruit are my favorite. It is 1.49 in the afternoon. We usually eat dinner around like six o'clock. Um, so I have four hours until dinner. I just had breakfast two hours ago and I'm not really hungry yet. So in order to fill my calories for today, I am having three Cadbury eggs for, I guess you call lunch. 
Um, I do things like this probably two or three times a week where like, and I replace a normal meal with just like something that I'm craving. If you guys follow me on Instagram, and I feel like I've talked about this on YouTube too, I'm obsessed with Cadbury eggs. Like this time of year, I definitely have these at least once or twice a week. They're just like a random thing that I love. A lot of times when I do stuff like this, I have a lot of questions from people on like Instagram or whatever, like, well, you know, isn't that unhealthy? Isn't that gonna make you gain weight? And if you guys know me and you've been watching my videos for a while, then you probably know no, one single, you know, one meal of candy <laughs> is not going to make you gain weight because honestly, at the end of the day, weight gain is about eating more calories than you burn in a day, right? So even if you're eating candy in your day, as long as you're not eating more calories than you burn, you're not going to be gaining weight. Candy in and of itself, sugar in and of itself doesn't have the power to just magically turn into fat in your body. Am I saying it's good for you? No, uh, but am I saying that it's good to have things in your diet that you crave? You make them less rare. Like years ago, I would have never had candy during the week or never had candy. Um, I would never have fit it into my daily calorie allowance because I would have felt really guilty about it. I would have felt like, well, that's a bad thing to do. I would have been really freaked out. Like what if I get hungry later? But because of that, things like candy were really rare to me. And so whenever I did get around candy and I did start to eat some candy, I felt like, oh my gosh, this is so good, I never get to have this. I like really wanna have just like tons of it. I would almost like binge it um, because I felt like it was so rare and I never got to eat it when I wanted it. A lot of like unhealthy foods felt rare to me because I was never allowing myself to have them. So is it super duper healthy to have three Cadbury eggs, 450 calories worth of Cadbury eggs for like my lunch? Is that healthy? No, physically, no, I wouldn't say that. Um, is it gonna hurt me? And part of what's really helped me have and maintain a really balanced relationship with food where I never feel tempted to binge, food doesn't feel rare to me, I just don't have problems overindulging in food just because it's delicious. The reason for that is because I have things that I like in my diet very frequently with a really healthy balance of other healthy things in my life. Like I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the grocery store. Lots of healthy things that I'm gonna fill my diet with this week. I am not concerned about some Cadbury eggs here or there. A lot of times, especially on YouTube, the like food police want to come for me and be like, well, that's not healthy. And do you know the cholesterol in there? And like an animal had to die for your Cadbury egg or something, whatever people want to get upset about, which like is fine. They're entitled to their opinion. Uh, but I am always just going to stand by my choices to like allow myself indulge in small ways multiple times throughout the week instead of keeping delicious food as this like rare thing I can never have so that when I do finally let myself have it, I end up overdoing it or binging it, you know? This is the kind of stuff we talk about a lot in my program, Balance and Thrive. You may have heard me talk about it before. Uh, we talk a lot about um, mindset around food and, and habits around food that really actually help support a balanced lifestyle uh, that also allows you to have weight loss if that's what you want. So I'm done talking. I'm gonna make Cadbury eggs. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the grocery store when I get back home. All right, so I am gonna show you guys what we got from the grocery store. Not everything. We like picked up a lot of like random groceries like batteries and dish soap, but I'm gonna show you guys the food because um, this is gonna be mostly what we eat through the week. So, starting over here, we have these two big bags of lettuce. We do a lot of salads for lunch um, or like for a fast dinner that doesn't require any cooking. Um, these wraps here for fajitas. We love doing fajitas with like some cooked peppers and onions and fajita seasoning and some chicken. Super delicious and super easy too. We've got some zucchini for a soup recipe that we like, the veggie minestrone I've talked about recently. Two limes for the fajitas, lemon for just general cooking. Avocados, I love avocado toast. We know that after years on this channel. Some bananas, some blackberries. I don't know if it's a blackberry season or what, but blackberries are just so good lately. The ones at my grocery store anyway are so sweet and just delicious. Oh, blackberries are my favorite berries. I got some fresh broccoli. I love to roast that in the oven as a side dish for dinner. Got some apples, a couple of honey crisp apples. I've just been craving apples and almond butter lately. I like can't get it out of my head. So picked up some almond butter too. I didn't know that RX did almond butter or any kind of nut butter. I thought they just did those like protein bars, but I guess I'll try this out. I've never heard anything about it. 
So we'll see how that goes. I've got some shredded Asiago cheese because I love cheese and Asiago cheese is one of the best. And Asiago cheese crisps. So these are like these little baked cheese crisps that people put on salads and stuff. And I do too sometimes, but honestly, I just like this as like a salty snack. And this whole bag is only 300 calories, I think, which I mean, I like portion control, and I guess this is probably better than opening a bag of Doritos. I, I mean, I feel like it's less ingredients anyway, so got a couple of those just for like a snack if I want one. Some red lentil pasta, which I love. We put this in the veggie minestrone soup that we love. Got a bunch of eggs. We're big egg eaters around here. Some chicken thigh and some chicken breast. Some potatoes, lots of potatoes around here as well. And two of our favorite sauces to cook with. This is a sweet soy sauce and this is a balsamic glaze. We like to put the two of these together and cook it in the same pan that we cook chicken in and it's just like super good as like a sauce over chicken but either one of these even on their own is really good. I really really like them and they're low calorie. They're both just 35 calories each per serving which uh, just adds some flavor to our healthy meals without adding a ton of calories. So that I'm pretty sure is all of the delicious food we got this week. So I'm gonna go have my Cadbury egg lunch and I'll check in with you guys later. All right, what a day it's been. It's just been a busy afternoon. Um, Matt cooked dinner. Dang. What a nice guy. He cooked us some roasted potatoes, some roasted broccoli. We just roast these with um, some olive oil and some salt and pepper. He made us some chicken thigh and he used um, those two sauces I was talking about earlier. He mixes them together with a little water and uh, we just kind of cook them on the stove and it makes a delicious sauce for our chicken. <laughs> so I'm gonna add it to this and that is gonna be dinner. So freaking good, I love this meal. So it's late, what time is it, like seven? It's seven, it's actually later than we normally eat dinner. I'm gonna go back and lay on the couch and watch TV and just relax. Go to bed. I hope this was an awesome, amazing vlog. <laughs> you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!